hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is rachel if you are new here i post videos generally once a week sometimes twice a week today we are back with another walk around book discussion today i'm going to talk about the power by naomi alderman and go on a hike in the swiss alps let's go The Power by Naomi Alderman was published in 2016. Uh, it is essentially the story of what a world would look like if suddenly girls all around the world developed a sort of muscle on their collarbone which allowed them to conduct electricity and shock people um, in a similar way to electric eel. In the story, girls are the first to have the power awaken. Um, and they are also able to awaken the power in older women by touching the palm of their hand. Once girls and women develop the power, they must learn how to harness it and control it, otherwise it can cause a lot of harm. There's a sudden fear in politics, in sports, in the military, in all aspects of life. Basically, there is a complete gender role flip of the current world we live in. Uh, this book is set in our world. Women are controlling everything. In uh, Saudi Arabia, for example, we see women taking control, um, barring men from driving, uh, requiring a woman chaperone for different men. The Power is a wraparound narrative, so although the main portion of the book, the uh, historical novel portion, is meant to take place in our current period, because it is actually set in the future, the present is the past. <laughs> uh, to make a little bit more sense, uh, when you start reading The Power, you see email correspondence between somebody named Neil, who works for the Men Writers Association, and a person named Naomi who works for a publishing house. The novel within The Power is also called The Power, which can be very confusing. The Power, a historical novel by this man named Neil, um, and he presents a story following 10 years of women coming into power. So the story within the book follows four characters um, from their perspectives. First, we have Roxy, who comes from um, a wealthy crime family in London. When she develops the power, she quickly discovers that she is one of the strongest people she knows and has the most amount of power. We have Ali, who is in foster care, and she changes her name later to Eve and begins a... a... Uh, revamping of Christianity essentially where the focus is on Eve and is on Mary and uh, God is feminine. Tendi is a journalist from Nigeria and he kind of follows the story as it unfolds around the world. Um, at first kind of sharing the women empowerment movement and seeing women who live in societies where they are extremely oppressed, overthrowing their oppressors, and then follows the story as it turns really ugly. And finally, we have Margot, who is from the US. She's a politician, and she realizes that she can hide her power, encourages training of women, um, kind of army boot camps for girls and young women to learn how to use their powers and harness it. Um, so these are the four main narratives that we follow throughout the, the, the fictional, the historical fictional book, The Power, uh, within The Power.
one. We are just in time for the sunrise. Um, I'm one of those people who wakes up early and wakes up fully wide awake, ready to go. Uh, so I thought I'd come outside to avoid irritating any of the slow rising coffee drinkers. I just wanted to briefly talk about feminism, not necessarily in the novel, but how the novel is portrayed in the conversation about feminism. After finishing The Power and logging it in my uh, Goodreads and in the story graph, I realized that it had been automatically categorized as feminist and I realized that it's probably an automatic categorization due to strong female characters. However, I think it's really important to note that the attitudes displayed towards men and towards um, women who are not white, not able-bodied, not cishet is not feminism. This is of course not to say that white, able-bodied, cishet women should not be included in feminism, um, but that feminism cannot be exclusive. This is a book which fits into so-called feminist literature that pits women and men against each other. I think the conversations in this book reinforce ideas that feminism comes from the US and the UK, where feminism exists everywhere, and it needs to be inclusive of all women, of all bodies, essentially. Feminism is not saying that women are better than men. Feminism is saying that all human beings should be equal regardless of gender and gender roles, and very confining strict codes and regulations about gender that oppress many groups of people, if not all groups of people. Toxic masculinity exists because of the patriarchy. If feminism continues to exclude men, how can we solve any issues that men have faced due to being told they must be strong, doing, being told they cannot cry, they cannot show emotions. Feminism must include everybody. And the power really regresses many years. Um, although it's meant to be set in the present, which is of course, as I mentioned earlier, actually in the past, it seems to be feeding into first wave feminism. I just wanted to voice a couple thoughts on the matter. Um, because I've seen, although I've seen a lot of people respond to this book in a way that questions the ideals that are raised in it, I've also seen a lot of people saying how empowered they felt by this book, which is of course fine, what empowers you empowers you, but if something makes you feel empowered because it is diminishing other people, Becoming the oppressor can never be the means or the ends to a human rights movement. It's very clever how our world is essentially the same in many ways, um, but with the gender roles reversed. The author has acknowledged the binary, the continuation of binary gender roles in the novel, where you only have men and women, and they are very much pitted against one another. There's a lot of aggression in the book as well. Uh, for example, ten days in situations when he is recording. Um, what's happening in the world where suddenly women are uh, very sexually aggressive or are making incredibly inappropriate comments to him. So we really see this kind of reversal of catcalling st stereotypes. This is also a very violent book. Um, as you can imagine, the girls in the training camps in the US, uh, as well as frustrated women all around the world, are very, very aggressive and violent and are willing to go to extreme measures to seek revenge or to diminish the chances of a, a man-dominated takeover. Thank you so much for watching. Um, the hike was a little bit more <laughs> tiring than expected, but that is okay for beautiful views. Uh, I'd love to know your thoughts on The Power if you have read it and any comments you may have on the feminism displayed in the novel as well as the dystopian utopian worlds. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye!